a blue-skinned hag that lived in a cave in the Dane Hills, known as Black Anis' Bower, that she'd carved out herself with her iron claws. She would venture out at night, looking for young children and sheep to eat. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another review of us. My name's Aaron, as you guys fully well know. And today we bring you another hardcore underground looking pre-workout in the form of Black Anise by Gold Star Nutrition Performance. So guys, these are the guys that bought you the Triple uh, X pre-workout that we have indeed reviewed. That was a stim junkie pre to say the least. Strong stuff. Now the guys over at Metabody Subs UK were kind enough to send this down to us for a transparent and honest review. So we're gonna get into all the usuals, the taste, the price, the label, the effects, and sum this bad boy off with a final verdict. Is this gonna be the product for you? Let's get into it. Okay, so moving us swiftly on into that first segment of our review, we move into the taste and the mixability of the product. Now we go through the flavors. I can tell you it comes in green apple, it comes in watermelon, and it comes in orange creamsicle. But the flavor we have today is that fruit punch, which boring, but a safe bet at the same time in general. Let's see, so it is only a small scoop, guys. And the thing is with this pre-workout, is it doesn't say you can take more than one scoop anywhere on this label. So we really do think it is a one scoop job, which is interesting. That means it's a 50 real servings. Yeah, we know guys. So a little scoop, it's got a, a definitely a mud-like appearance to it. In she goes, let's see how this one tastes. A little bit of froth, nothing major. Um, mixability actually looks pretty good. It is only a small scoop, do you remember? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so fruit punch going down. It's all right, it's all right. Weird, don't taste like fruit punch. Don't taste like anything, to be absolutely honest with you, just sugary water. Um, it's quite weak. Perhaps I should have had a bit less water. It is only a small scoop, but I have used this with different amounts of water before, and I'm too, it still felt weak. Um, I'll give it a five out of 10. I'll go bang average. It's not, it's not bad. It's just not anything, really. It's just boring. That's, that's the truth of the matter, guys. I'm gonna go five out of 10. I think that's fair. It's not nasty. You wouldn't struggle drinking it. Um, it's not got any harsh undertones. It's not sweet, it's not bitter, it's not sour. It's just, it just tastes like sugary water, to be absolutely honest with you. So, five out of 10. It's price time, guys. How much money are you gonna be looking at spending on this product? So, the advantage straight off the bat as I mentioned in that tasting segment, is it does come in 50 servings. And as far as I can see, guys, you can only take one scoop. It doesn't anywhere on this label say you can go up to two scoops. So that is a genuine 50 servings. So you can guess it now. This price segment is gonna come out well. So head on over to metabodysups.co.uk where you can see this product and many others, may I add, and you can use our discount code of Insta7 on any product. So it knocks 7% off of this product. So I can tell you you can get it for £35.76 for the whole tub. Now pricing per serving, 71 pence per go. That is good. That is very, very good for a pre-workout these days. What I can say is it gets an 8.5 out of 10 on our consistent pricing scale, and it just misses that nine out of 10. So. A well-priced pre-workout. Let's get into the label and the effects to see, you know, if you can uh, make that worthwhile, that pricing. 
So, what are you actually getting for your money in this product, guys? We're gonna go through the label as quick as we can, as we always do. Um, I can tell you it is, unfortunately, a proprietary blend, so I can't tell you exact dosages of each ingredient. It's just bundled into that 6.550 gram scoop. So, a lightweight scoop. A lot of these items are probably gonna be underdosed due to the fact it is such a small scoop, but again, I can't promise you that. Starting us off, beta alanine, again, like I mentioned, can't tell you exactly how much is in there. I can tell you what it can do. It can give you that tingly, itchy feeling that you take, you get after taking a pre-workout, should I say. It can also help with endurance benefits down the line. So, okay start to that label. Uh, we've got uh, citrulline demalate next up at a two to one ratio. So that's the, the citrulline is the most important part of that. We're looking at boosting those nitric oxide levels up in the bloodstream and helping with pumps. So that is the second component of this pre. Then we have N-acetyl-L-tyrosine, which is um, some say a more bioavailable version of tyrosine. Some won't say that. There are con contra contradicting studies out there. But I can tell you they both will work for focus and cognition, concentration and the like. So like to see that in a pre-workout. Uh, AAKG follows in arginine alpha ketoglutarate. So that is the salt of arginine. It's supposed to last a bit longer than pure arginine in the blood. Thus again, working with citrulline to boost nitric oxide levels up, giving you a nice pump. So we're expecting some respectable pumps off of this. Um, we have creatine malate. So that's obviously just creatine at the end of the day. Um, it's gonna give you those pumps, that strength output, power output, some endurance. You know creatine is a jack of all trade ingredient. We like to see it in pre-workouts, some don't, so it is completely up to you. Um, agmatine sulfate, again, pumps. So those three elements there will work towards the pumps. We've got the, uh, the citrulline, the agmatine, and the arginine. So they should work together in synergy to give you some nice pumps. Um, then we have methylexanine, which is, um, is a group of stimulants. Um, even caffeine is derived from a methylexamine. Um, so it is a stimulant. It's going to also help with breathing and um, airway control. So again, it'll help you with a bit of endurance in the gym as well, depending on its dosage. And wrapping the label up, some would argue the most exciting ingredient in here. We have geraniburm, which is a geranium oil extract. As you know, guys, uh, natural DMAA was extracted from geranium plant. We've found time and time again, it, it completely depends on the source of where they're getting it from and it doesn't ever specify where. So it could be DMAA, might not be. You know, it could have DMAA fills, might not. The only thing we can do is wait for that effects section, guys, and that is the label. Small, sweet, who knows? Let's, let's see how the effects come together. Most important part, guys, the effects of the product Black Anise. How did it compare to its cousin pre-workout, Triple X? How does it compare to other geranium extract products on the market today? So let's start at the beginning. Beta alanine, the primary ingredient in this, the most, the most uh, dosed in there, apparently, if it's first on the list. Did I feel it? No, not really. Not really. Three out of ten, strength. It just weren't. It wasn't apparent to myself. I didn't really, really feel that that beach running at all, which was was a shame, since I do like that. So that can come as a pro or a con. Moving us off, guys. I'm I'm going to keep this one short and sweet because um I don't want to waste your guys' time. But I really didn't feel much from this product at all. If any, well, I didn't feel anything at all. Maybe a little, and I mean a little bit of focus pumps. Okay, at best, at best. Probably well underdosed in there, guys. We'd like to see citrulline, you know, at five grams, agmatine at like another gram, arginine at two to three grams. We're looking at we're looking at some serious underdosing here, guys. My honest thoughts on this product is it should somewhere here say you can take up to two scoops. So and it never does. So I can't do it, and that would make sense because then it'd be twenty five servings, which is more in line with a normal pre workout. The other thing that got alarm bells ringing for me, for me really early on, and you're going to laugh at this, on, <laughs> on non-training days, take one serving first thing in the morning. Are you having a laugh, guys? What pre-workout do you know you take on a non-training day in the morning? You're just not going to... 
that that for me is a huge alarm bell because you're obviously not going to feel enough to be off your head on a non-training day. So poor, poor show from this this time. Triple X was ten times stronger than this, ten times better. This one. Let's go into the scores because I'm getting irate. Um, a four out of ten. I'm going to give it a four out of ten. So it's not it's not worth your money. It's not worth the seventy one p. I'd pay twenty p a go for this. Um, you know, truth be told, you're asking me the question: Why am I not scoring it a one, two, or a three out of ten? I personally do believe those scores are reserved for pre workouts that physically take away from your training sessions. They make you feel sick. They make you light headed. You can't train on them. You get cold sweats. You're dizzy. You feel ill. You're white out, and you just can't train on them at all. This one, although it didn't add anything onto my training at all, I wouldn't say it really took away. I felt a bit demotivated because it didn't do anything at all. So I felt a bit like, each and every time I used it, guys, may I just add. But, but um, yeah, I think the one, two and three out of ten are for the ones that make you physically ill and you don't want to train on them at all. You can't train on them. Whereas this, you can take it and you can train on it. You can take it on your on your days off because it ain't going to give you much effect. But um, yeah, for me, guys, this one just didn't. It just didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. I would have trained as hard had I have taken this as I had I have not. Definitely. So I'm going to give it that four out of ten score. I think that for you guys makes you uh, aware of exactly what I think of it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry guys for that. Gold star. The gold Star Triple X, like I say, is a lot better. So if you can get your hands on that one instead, then do so. Um, and do check out Meta Body Sup's um, website because they do do a lot of really good pre-workouts on there. This is just one of the products they do stock. So bear all that in mind, guys. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10 today. Final verdict on a Black Anis pre-workout by Gold Star, sent kindly to us by Meta Body Sup's. Now, let's get into this one. How did it perform today? Well, I can tell you, we start off in the taste and the mixability segment, and it did okay. You know what, it mixed well. It was just boring. It wasn't necessarily negative. I don't think you would have any troubles drinking it. It was just very plain, very boring, very weak. So I gave it a five out of 10. Moving us into the price of the product, it's best scoring element by a long way because it came in 50 servings and they were a genuine 50 servings. So using our discount code over at Metabody Subs, I can tell you this scored an 8.5 out of 10 on our consistent pricing scale. And what I will say is it just missed that nine out of 10 by one P. So very close, very, very, very well priced product. Should you not take into account the effects, which for me just really, really, really fell short. Um, just didn't feel anything on the product. Didn't even feel beta alanine. Didn't really feel pumps. No energy. Focus. I'm talking seriously minimal. Probably none. Probably none. Alarm bells rang when it said you could take this pre-workout on your days off. Which I've never seen before. If you guys have, please comment that pre-workout below. Um, but yeah, it got a 4 out of 10. The reason being, I don't think it, it took away from my training as per such. So therefore, I wasn't going to give it like a 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, because they're the ones that you can't train on at all. So that gives us a total score of 17.5 out of 30. So I know what, it's it's not worth the money in my opinion. I know it's a very well-priced product, but it just doesn't perform in the gym. Um, for, me, it, for me, it's a cross. Um, but I do recommend Triple X by the same company. Um, and I recommend heading up, like I say, on over to Meta Body Sucks because they do stock a lot of really good products and that discount code works on any product on their website. So 17.5 on Black Anis pre-workout. Um, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Have you used this before? Um, just let us know. Let us know, guys. And as always, stay steamed. Not on that one. <laughs>